Hi designers, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be covering how to work with text in ReadyMag. While this may seem kind of basic at first glance, I assure you it is not because there is so much to play around with here and really get creative with once you learn and nail the fundamentals. Also text makes up a really key part of any site. So it is absolutely in your best interest to get very comfy and confident working with type and text boxes right from the get-go. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Let's get into it. My goal is that by the end of this video, you'll know how to add text to your projects, fine tune all your typography, feel super comfortable working with advanced typography, columns, links, and textiles, and even know how to animate your text once you're finished formatting. So first things first, let's start with a bit about text in ReadyMag. You can pick from tons of free fonts or upload custom ones, and ReadyMag supports both left to right and right to left languages, open type, variable fonts, and flexible textiles. You can work with an unlimited amount of fonts to create headlines, body text, links, scrolling marquees, buttons, menus, and captions for your projects. Let's dive into a tour of the text widget. To add text to your page, go to the widgets panel and click on the text widget. You'll see the general properties toolbar pop up. Double click on the text box or click on this little edit icon to get to your text editor. Now you can edit the contents of your text box however you need, and when you click out of the edit mode, you can resize the text box and arrange it anywhere on your screen. Let's double click to get back into our text editor. In the typography panel, you can change basic text properties like selecting a font, adjusting font weight, and setting text size, line height, and letter spacing. You can click this button to link and unlink text size and line height. That's super useful. If you wanna use a font that isn't in the short default list of fonts, you've got two options here, library and upload. Library will take you to a bunch of fonts you can browse through and add to your project by clicking the plus icon. Now you should find it in your font list. If you wanna upload a custom font, click upload, set the font name and weight, and then upload the file from your computer. You won't be able to stretch or manipulate fonts here, but ReadyMag does support variable fonts. If you're working with a variable font, change its weight by moving the slider. You can align your text in different ways and resize the text box by selecting auto height or fix size. You can align your text to the top or the bottom of the container and add padding by double clicking and pulling on any side of the container. Fun fact, you can also add custom padding for each paragraph in a block of text. Press enter to create a new paragraph and just pull on the side of the container. This is crucial when you're working with really complex layouts. Now we know how text boxes work, let's look at working with text styles. Working with styles isn't always necessary, but I definitely recommend it for when you're working with projects that include a ton of text because it'll save you time and effort if you have any changes to make later on and it'll just help you keep things really organized. It's also useful for working with multiple viewports, like when you're working across desktop, tablet, and mobile. Go into the editor mode and click into styles. Here you can edit existing styles or create one of your own. Give it a name, change the font size, line height, letter spacing, and other properties like color. Then click save. You can also add semantic tags to your text styles. This is important for SEO crawlers and really makes your web project just more accessible. It's possible to change all the properties of multiple text widgets at once using styles. Any style can be edited, duplicated, deleted, moved to global, and back to the project. If you move a style to global, it means it'll be available across all of your ReadyMag projects. This is super useful if you're working with multiple projects in a collection, like if you're creating several decks or presentations using the same brand guidelines. This is how you move a style to global. Next, let's take a look at advanced typography. When you click this little gear icon, you'll find tools for quick text transformation. You can do a bunch of fun stuff here. You can convert your text to all caps, make it bold, make every word start with a capital letter, make everything lowercase, give your text an underline or a strike through, create a fraction, work with superscripts or subscripts. You get the idea. You can also outline your text here and give your text box a background color and even sort text into a bulleted or a numbered list. Do any specific individual editing to pieces of your text in this panel. You'll notice you also have an insert panel where you can insert any glyphs associated with the fonts you're using. ReadyMag also provides an option to insert invisible symbols. This includes non-breaking spaces as well as narrow no-breaking spaces, and this will help keep certain words together even if a text box changes. We've also got presets you can use here for these features in the typography section. 
Next, let's look at linking. If you want to add a link to a specific part of your text, select it by highlighting it and then link it to any website, page, or section of your project, email, or even phone number. You can type the page name or number if you want it to link to other pages within your project. Once you've created your link, you can customize the link style by changing text color and toggling the underline setting, as well as choosing its color, width, and padding. The look of your link on Hover is obviously also customizable and with all the same options. If you want to change the color of your text in general, click on the circle color icon and select a color by either using the color slider, by typing in a specific color code, or by choosing one from your saved palettes. You can also change the color of a specific word or section within one text box. Now for our final trick of this section and one of my personal faves, columns. If you're working with a lot of text, like maybe for an editorial project, you can split one text box into multiple columns by just sliding over the column scale and adjusting the gap between columns by dragging your cursor up and down the scale. Then you can go back to editing your text container as a whole. Literally couldn't be easier. Let's see how this might look in a finished project. Voila! Pro tip, create this scrolling effect by fixing all other elements to your screen so only your text will move as the page scrolls. This is how you can create really striking editorial work like personal blogs, articles, news stories, or essays. Okay, the very, very last thing I wanna draw your attention to is animation. Just like everything else in ReadyMag, text is easily animated. And this means that once your text is in place, you can add movement and interactivity to your design by building an animation. You can work with animated text presets like the one in here, but to finish off our tutorial, we're just gonna add a little motion to the title of our editorial layout. If you want your text to move separately, like in the example of the user site we just showed, split your title into separate text boxes. Click on animation and then choose how you wanna start your animation on click, load, hover, or scroll. Select your movement, adjust the speed and duration, and there you have it, it's literally that easy. Create a similar animation for the other words in your title and you're done. Test it out a couple times to make sure it looks how you want. And that's it. We did it. I hope this video makes you feel more than ready to take on the world of text widgets. Like I said, it's not so complicated really once you've poked into all the nooks and crannies of the text properties toolbar and learned how every section works. So play around with things a bit here, get a little practice, and I promise you'll be a pro in like no time. For any other questions, make sure you check out our other tutorials either on YouTube or on TikTok, or take a look through our learn section. I am almost certain you'll find what you're looking for in one of those spots. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.